Being accused of attacking his baseball teammate after practice will get to leave the juvenile detention center he's been in for nearly a week. And a judge has ordered home detention for that 16-year-old and also lowered a charge against him. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is joining us. She's in Miami to explain what happened in court today. Christina. And you are about to hear from the judge herself on how she came to that decision. Essentially, she was trying to determine whether there was probable cause for the original charge. And as she told both sides, she was really looking at, is there any evidence that actually proves that he intended to hurt his teammate? There has been a lot of emotions with this case. A Miami-Dade Children's Court judge told both sides this hearing was to determine probable cause. 16-year-old Jeremy Singer was facing a charge of aggravated battery after his Palmetto High School baseball teammate said the teen pitcher hurt his ear, requiring six stitches after throwing an air horn can at him. Are air horns generally sharp? Could be. I don't really have too many experiences with air horns. The judge heard from the case detective who said the tiff started at Coral Reef Park when the case victim brought food into the dugout, which apparently is against the rules. Coach made them run two extra laps after practice. Jeremy was frustrated, throwing the air can at the victim. I haven't really heard the evidence as to permanent disfigurement. I have the testimony from the police officer that is six stitches after hearing the evidence i think that the way it is charged on the a form it is a um, far stretch but it is a felony battery the judge deciding on that lesser charge the child has no delinquent history here well, i don't think that he is a threat i will note the testimony of the officer that he really doesn't feel that jeremy is a danger to others and that the teen could spend the rest of his detainment at home. I am hoping that both the victim and you have learned as well. And she also said that she hopes the victim in this case feels better. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.